I still have Tommy here zero nine. I just want to show anybody that might be interested in Alien Blue dot powder and in, in the reloading. Uh, I have a group here that is shot, and uh, you can see there it was 53 V Max with 13.7 grains of blue dot powder, Alien Blue dot that is. And there's the group. You can see there. There's four shots all together, cluster together, make a, making like a, an L shape upside down. It's near like a nor. And there's one shot low there. It's about, I uh, suppose, three quarters an inch lower. So that actually was my fourth shot. As I was shooting up on top of a bank and I had the rifle uh, down at an angle. If you check out, there's another video on the 53V Maxis. You can see that uh, I shoot from the top of a high bank and down into the front of a bog just for safety purposes. So that's the 53s now with 13 7 the blue dot. Anybody considering uh, reloading this, uh, make sure you work up very, very carefully. Watch for the pressure signs. Do a bit of reading up on it. Google it. All in blue dot powders and you should find a lot of loads. Despite reloading up in the, in the mid teens, but uh, there's none of them that I've seen used up as heavy a bullet like in the 53 V Max. I'm mostly shooting with the, the 30s, 35s, 40s, you know. But that is this and there are four bullets on top of each other, like. And <laughs> there's very much, there's very little height in it, like. I just want to show you this now. A chronograph, a chrono these loads. This is a competitive edge dynamics chronograph. Let's see now. This is it here now. It's a. I just want to see it, make sure that light's not blo blocking. It's a face shot thing. There's shot 1 there, 2661, shot 2, 2662, shot 3, 2665, shot 4, 2670, and shot 5, 2665 again. You can see there's the high, 2670, there's your, your low, 2661, average velocity was 2664. Extreme spread, take a look at that there, 9.0 extreme spread, and a standard deviation of just 3.0. So, it looks like I've got a, a half decent load, like. It's definitely like, I'm getting great groups all the time, them. As I say, that that's low shot there, let's see now, that low shot there was actually, I think it was my fourth shot. And I had, uh, I'm, sh I'm shooting prone with a bipod. I actually had the, the bipod over the edge of the bank, down the slope, so I could get the, the angle down to the hedgerow in front of the bog that I was shooting. You can see, you can see the angle, as I say, on another video there, shooting the 53 V-Maxes. But uh, the bipod actually slipped. I'm not looking for excuses, but the, the bipod been down over the edge of the bank. I had it dug into the bank and I actually had the left leg down lower. Down, you know, more. I had it out more than the right leg. And uh, the wee bit just gave away on me just when I was letting that shot off and I knew it wasn't going to be in the group. But then I fired the last shot and I went back in there. And that was 53s with 13 having a blue dot. Okay, now I'm just letting you know, like if anybody with a bit of experience wants to consider trying that out, like, but make sure you start off lower down in the powder weights just for safety purposes because everybody that are low reload should know, like, at the uh, no two guns will shoot the same, like, you have to gradually work your loads up, you know. Okay, cheers.